Ever wanted to speed away like the Flash or have healing powers like the Hulk? Well subscribe and watch this video to find out how. To start, all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to add in a part like this. And I'm just going to turn to a little healing thing. Just kind of like this. I'm going to duplicate it with Control D and do the same thing outwards. There we go. Now we got cross here. Alright, so now we've got our cross here. I'm going to grab both our parts and color them green. And then inside of the model tab, all you're going to have to do is just go ahead and click on Union. And now they're one part. And then inside of Workspace, you're going to add in a new folder. And this is going to be called Health Pickups. And I'm going to name this Union that we just made to Health Pickup. And I'm going to put this inside of that folder. Now what we need is inside of server script service, I'm going to add in a new script. And we can just name this health pickup script. So help health pickup script, not script. Anyways, now we need to set a variable for our player's max health that they're going to be able to collect. So I'm going to say max health. I'm doing full capitals because this won't change at all. So I'm going to do max health equals to 100. So now we need to create a local function. I'm going to say local function. And this will be on touch health pickup. And in the parentheses we need to set a few parameters. This is going to be other part and health pickup. Drop the line right there. Now all we need to do is grab the player's character. So we're going to say local character will be equal to other part dot parent with a capital P. Make sure you do that. And now we need to get the humanoid, so I'm going to say local humanoid. So character, find first child, which is a humanoid. Just like that. A little long to type out. Yeah, make sure every first letter and every little word is capitalized though. Now all we need to say is if it is our humanoid, then we can go ahead and say humanoid dot health will be equal to max health. Now what I need to do is up here, I'm just gonna get our health pickups folder real quick. So health pickup folder will be equal to game.workspace, uh, wait for child, I'm gonna do health pickups. And then we need to actually get our health pickups from the health pickups folder. So I'm gonna say local health pickup, pickups will be equal to health pickups folder get children. So now underneath here, all we need to do is loop through all of our health pickups. So I'm going to say four underscore comma, and then I'm going to say health pickup, and then another comma, and then we're going to say I pairs, and then we're going to put our health pickups full, uh, no, just our health pickup inside of there. So now all we need to say is health pickup dot touch, and then we're going to connect a new function to this and this function is going to take the parameters of other part again now what i need to say is we just need to call our function that was up there so on touch health pickup and we're going to put its parameters in here again so health pickup so one thing i messed up on is though we actually don't need a comma right here it only needs to be in i pairs like that so that was one mistake but if we go ahead and hit play right now we should see that this will heal us Make sure your part is anchored first though, and I'm going to click play. So, I forgot that we should actually make a little damage part real quick. In order to do that, I'm just going to add in a part and make it red to speed things up a little bit just so we can test. I'm going to add a script into here. I'm going to say script.parent.touch. We're going to connect a new function to that. And then it's going to say hit in the parameter. So let's say local player will be equal to game dot players get player from character hit dot parent and if it is our player then we can go ahead and say player dot character wait for child humanoid and dot health will be minus equals like three health or something something simple like this go ahead and copy the script if you would like just gonna give you a few seconds here this will also be in the description if you want it anyways. Well, the comments actually, and I'm going to X out of the script. Now I'm going to make sure that this is anchored, like so. And now I'm going to click on play. So if we get damaged a little bit first and then touch our cross, we get fully healed. 
Another thing we might want to do is just turn off King Collide on here, on the cross. And now we can go back into our script and server script service, and let's get scripting again. So now all that we need to do is just go ahead and say health pickup, set attribute enabled. Never mind, it's not that. You gotta put a comma in the after the enabled, and then do true in the parentheses like that. All right, so I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this line up to the enabled appear. Just gonna put it right here. Now we can just say if health pickup, and then change this to get attribute enabled then now we can just copy all of this and paste it right inside of here all right one thing i didn't do great was i forgot i had a capital h here anyways that's what that problem was so now when you should probably like indicate that there is a cooldown there so let's go ahead and add a few transparency effects so now we need to declare like three constants at the top of the script and a constant is basically like a variable that won't change as long as you know it won't change like this max health we know it's not going to change because we don't really want it to change so we just put it in all capitals to make sure of that i'm going to say local enabled transparency will be equal to 0 0.4 i think is about good and then local oh uh, local doesn't need to be caps and then local disabled transparency will be equal to about uh 0 0.85 i want to imagine that that looks pretty good for me now we need a cooldown, so I'm going to say local cooldown will be equal to about 10. So now all I need to do down here underneath this, humanoid.health equals the max health. And I'm going to say health pickup.transparency will be equal to disabled transparency. And for our health pickup, we can set attribute again. We can just actually copy this little line down here. And then make sure there's a capital H health pickup and we're gonna set enabled to false this time now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say task dot wait and then we're gonna put our cooldown right in there and now we can just copy these two lines right above that and stick it down right here now all we need to do is just change from disabled transparency to enabled transparency and enabled to true so let's go ahead and hit play make sure everything is working just fine let me get damaged first a little bit, so now when we get healed, we can no longer get healed by it, as you can see, because it's disabled for now, and it's transparent to show us that. But after the cooldown time we sent, which was 10 seconds, we can go ahead and get cooled again. Now I think that's pretty cool. If you'd also like to do this with speed or even jump height, you can definitely do that as well, just inside of your health pickup script. You can probably just duplicate the folder, honestly. Say speed pickups or whatever. And you can just duplicate the health pickup, put it inside of here. Actually, it's already been duplicated, but you know, you can move it over. Well, that's already been unioned. I'd recommend making like some sort of lightning bolt, something like that. Now that is the worst looking lightning bolt I've ever seen, but it works for what I'm gonna go for. So just union that again, put in your speed pickups. I'm just going to name this to speed pickup, the same with our health pickup. And you basically can just copy the health pickup script, name it to speed pickup script. And then you just go through and enable everything like max walk speed equals to like 32 or something. Or, you know, like you just go through and change all the variables and everything. And you can say like dot walk speed instead of health. And so you just go through, you change everything. I believe that's all we actually have to change, I think, if I'm correct. Let's make sure this is anchored though. Well, let's hit play. All right, so touch that and no, that did not work. Let's go look into the output, see what's missing. So it does not appear that there are any errors. Oh, one thing I did forget though, is that still looking in the health pickups folder, we need to look in the speed pickups folder. 
and you don't need to rename the variables in here because it's a whole different script looking for a whole different folder but you can for the sake of uh, just identification all right as you can see I am now super fast and the thing is disabled another thing though is that we might want to add another no can collide onto here and let's add in a little thing that will make sure that the player doesn't speed away forever. Let's say humanoid.walk speed will be equal to 16 again. Maybe. Something like this. So I'm walking around, thing's still disabled, can get damaged, and that thing will still work. So let's. Alright, yeah, that worked. So it's a little speed power up. You can do the same thing with the jump height if you'd like to. And you can find the scripts in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe. Goodbye.